um, first to take membership um, and to you know organize ourselves into cells, into branches, parts, and bits, um, uh, and just simply arrange a jigsaw out of it. Uh, uh, and, and how to disseminate information, how to pass information from one another, mm-hmm. and to understand um, what is, you know, what is the information that you want to you, you want to pass. I mean, we might think that one thing is very important for the public, but when you go into a household, she's not worried about it at all. But there's something else that she's very, very worried about, and then she would go to any length um, uh, in trying to change it. So what is important for people, it's, it's not necessarily always what is important for me, is important to the rest of the population. So uh, on the one hand, questioning, asking them, uh, what's wrong with you and, and what do you want and, and, and you know, how can life become better? And then get that information and then write uh, what we're trying to do based on that. So it's a two-way story, it's a conversation that we have to have with the people. Well, when I started, it was just me, <laughs> and uh, no, it wasn't very big. Alicia here. Uh, 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 when I came back, it wouldn't have been uh, more than 200 of us. On the day that I came back, we got 7,000 people joining us. We are now 49,000. Um, the Maldives is just 350,000, and we are the biggest political group. So uh, it, 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 you know, it took a while, but then when when it started going, when seven thousand people joined, um, Gayum couldn't, you know, he, he had to allow that to be legal. So otherwise, uh, uh, he knew that this organisation was going to function, even if it were illegal, and so on. So uh, uh, he had to legitimise it. Not to be afraid. Now, when a policeman um, uh, um, raises a baton, keep looking at the baton. Make sure you know that, you know, don't lose your focus from the baton until it hits you. And, and, and I feel that if you do that, um, you know, the pain is much, much more bearable. If you start running for it, and if you're covering f- from it, uh, um, it's very, very difficult. Uh, uh, people were, you know, uh, people were able to watch others do it. And then uh, I found that, you know, uh, all were able to do it. Running away doesn't help. Uh, when the police charge at you, don't run. Just hold your ground. Uh, and then uh, very often they pass you by and, and, and go after those who are running. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, and you are easily able to walk away. What, what I mean, you know, this is really quite, actually. You know, what I always read has nothing to do with um, um, the politics or this movement or anything. I, I, I love reading novels, so that's all what I'd read. Um, I flip through um, his Gene Sharp's things and you know, I kind of, you know, I get someone else to read it and I, I kind of flip through them. It's, I, I, I'm very bad at it, but I, I like reading Tom Sharp, for instance. Um, Writers' Assembly. Have you read Writers' Assembly? Uh, okay, Tom Sharp uh, depicts the South African regime with Writers' Assembly. Uh, and, and for me, uh, that, that was, you know, it's, it's comical, but that, that had, uh, had a lot of uh, um, material in it uh, 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 on how silly the whole thing was. 
um, so I think comic, uh, um, I like uh, comedy. I like to make it light. Uh, um, the theory is, you know, what uh, um, Jack and Jane Sharp and everyone else was writing about was important. It was important. But if you ask me, I think it would be a lie if I tell you that I had his book um, um, at my bedside all the time. That's not true. I had Tom Sharp, uh, um, and, and I was always reading other things. Uh, and I think, you know, um, I like that. It was always useful because it gave me some skills on ability to speak to the people, talk to them. Um, and then very often, uh, you know, your high-powered economics is good. You know, if you've read, for instance, Niall Ferguson um, or any of the economics texts, it's good, it's good. Um, but um, you have to relate that to the people and you have to be able to talk to them about it. So, uh, um, direct action and peaceful political activity uh, is also very necessary if you want to become a statesman or if you want to kind of run a country. Well, you know, uh, uh, we asked uh, someone how much, it would, how much they would charge to promote climate change issues in the Maldives. And they said, you know, $100,000, $150,000 a month. So I thought this is silly. You know, the idea is to get the message across, impress upon the people the gravity of the issue. So you kind of go into a Tom Sharp extent of it, uh, which is so comical that it is underwater. Uh, um, so I think exaggeration uh, helps. Uh, the, the, the ultimate end of it is found. Yes, um, uh, I mean, I, I like walking, I always walk, and, and I don't like all the guards, and I don't like all the military, uh, and I don't like all, all, that, all the pomp and all the ceremony. Um, so mm, that was difficult. People would tell me, you know, President, you be a president now. And, and they would come and say, you know, there's a little bit on your hair. And, and this, this, and, and so that was always kind of nagging. Um, but I suppose that's part, in, uh, uh, part of the deal. So you had to do that. You had to be polished. Uh, uh, you had to be proper. Uh, not that uh, ordinary, most people are not proper and polished, but um, as a president, you had to do things in a certain manner. Well, you know, I was just trying to be me, and, and then, you know, uh, uh, it's <laughs> meeting um, Ben Jabo and Ho Jintai is difficult. Uh, all that regimentation. Uh, uh, and the brass and, and, and uh, the military and everything around, you know, when you go into other countries and when you go into these meetings and meet the other presidents, um, everyone kind of judge the strength of your own country by how pompous you can become mm -hmm. uh, and, and um, how, much, uh, 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 how much military parades that you can have how proper your commanders are shouting it out. Um, and so, you know, you had to kind of tolerate that. Uh, and, and I did that. I, I, I did that. But um, uh, 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 meeting other leaders, you'll also soon find out that they are also fairly human. Uh, and and uh, they have a very soft side to it as well. And, and I think they like it when, when kind of you cut the ice and start talking normally. One of the difficulties was that every day and everything was a compromise. There was nothing that I could do according to what I thought it had to be done. You know, I'd sit and think, this is a brilliant idea, and someone would say, no, President, this is how you do it. 
So there's, there's, you know, they wouldn't say no, but they would kind of find 10,000 reasons of not being able to do it. And then just make sure that it's not done. So there was, there was very little that, um, as, as a leader, that you yourself could do. It's always a compromise. I, I'm very disappointed by uh, the slow space of the social movement. Um, I am um, I mean, uh, 350, I mean, that, that's a good group, but I'm very, very disappointed by uh, uh, the slowness. It's not gathering. I was hoping that there would be a million people out on the streets in the United States this summer. Uh, but then, you know, it's not happening. This is a country of 350 million people. There will be 200, 1,200 arrests in the Maldives today. So, you know, I, I'm not impressed. Uh, we have to have the numbers out. More people have to be activated. If you want to make a difference, you don't make this difference staying at home.